Hey everybody! So, I got some really cool, exciting things in the mail today. But, the one that I want to talk about right now is this. What is this, you might ask? Well, that Monster High logo on the top might make some sense then. So, recently Mattel announced that they would not actually have a Comic-Con doll for Monster High this year. And that's kind of set like a doomsday thing in, in motion for Monster High collectors. Uh, it's a whole signal like, this is the end, there's not going to be any more Monster High. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I do know that I haven't been the world's biggest fan of the reboot. But it's not for me. I'm not a, you know, 12 year old kid. I'm a 30 year old woman. That being said, they did release on Twitter a couple weeks ago a picture of a very interesting doll set. And in that doll set was a character that we have not seen in Monster High for quite some time. I think over a year at this point. Um, so as soon as they released it on a uh, Mattel shop, I swooped in, bought it for myself with my first paycheck, and I figured I would do a little unboxing for everybody here. Uh, so let's check out the Gulia and Cleo collector set. And I did notice at the bottom of the box here, it does say adult collector. So though this is a reasonably priced doll set, I think this is about 40 bucks shipped, like 40 bucks shipped. Um, it is not intended for children. Um, I'm not sure what that means. So the first thing I see is that there is a singular? Oh, it's a reversible diary taped to the top of the box. And that's kind of neat. Um, I'm glad that they're coming with diaries again. A lot of the new dolls have not. Um, like, I don't think that my Ari has a diary. I don't think that my, um, any of the new, oh, wow. I don't think any of the new dolls really have diaries. But this is spectacular. Look at that packaging, how ornate it is. This is definitely supposed to be the in lieu of Comic-Con doll for this year for Monster High. Um, and wow, just like, look at the sides with the Anubis, like a Cleo's, Cleo's guards, I'm guessing. And the, oh God, I don't even know what this is supposed to be on the front. But like, the more I look at it, the more I see things that are like, okay, the cherries, that's a Ghoulia trademark. Um, and then on the back is beautiful artwork and a cute little story at the end that kind of teases a vague relationship between Cleo and Ghoulia. Um, I don't know. I don't know where, where uh, Deuce fits into this whole equation, but I would, uh, I'd be okay with that. Anyway, let's open it up and take a look. And this is something else. Like, wow. Look at them. It's beautiful. The dolls are spectacular. The details, and I'll, I'll try to get some, some close-up shots so I'm not just looking at them while talking to you. Um, this, this is the detail that I've been missing from the newer dolls entirely. Like, you can see the little, like, I think those are, the Goya shoes are recasts, but Cleo's are, like, brand new appearing. Um, they've got the, the details on the clothing, like, you can see Goya's little pocket. I think Goya's pocket is actually printed, not stitched. But, like, the fabric that they're using for Cleo, her gold and ornate, um, Goya's hat, her glasses. Um, amusingly enough, Sir Hootsalot is actually off color. Um, Sir Hootsalot is usually blue with like a cream body, or like a, a blue body with a cream feathers. But just still, this is, I, I've been missing Ghoulia a lot. Ghoulia was my first Monster High doll. So when they rebooted the line and the only zombie around was Monica, I was really upset by that. 
because Gulia is probably one of the better characters in original Monster High. Um, probably my second favorite after Operetta. So, that being said, this set is spectacular. Well worth the money. I think they're technically still available on Mattel Shop. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Um, yeah, uh, does this signal the demise of Monster High that we're getting a general release instead of a Comic-Con doll? I hope not. I don't think so. Um, question of the day. What's your favorite movie monster? Not necessarily saying cryptid, because cryptids are a different, you know, that's a different flavor in and of themselves. Who's your favorite movie monster? I like Bright Frankenstein, personally. But, uh, if you like what you saw, I'm gonna link some more of my Monster High videos at the end of this. I've done a couple of different unboxings. I think I've actually, I've done some for like, I'll link what for Zombie Gaga, and I'll link one for some Comic-Con dolls that I bought uh, on a whim. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to stick around, I do a lot more toy unboxings, and, uh, so if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so you know when I upload, I upload twice a week. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later!